friends, Lois with LA Grace's Attic here, and I am on with a late night live to show you some Valentine's easy peasy crafts. Uh, I didn't forget about you, just had a few things to finish up, got my little boy to bed, and so here I am. I had to dig too, because I had a couple of things in my head that I wanted to do, and I had to find, I, like I knew I had these little piggy tail things, which I'm gonna tell you about in a minute, and I had to dig for them. They were like in the way back of the craft stash. But I've got a couple of things I wanna do. I put out the rest of the, um, and I apologize for the angle. Um, had a few technical difficulties as well tonight. Um, Cause you know, I never go live late night like this, very seldom. Hey Danielle. Happy Friday, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm in my PJs, uh, so we're just gonna hang out and have a little bit of fun, and we're gonna do a couple of crafts. I put out, like I said, my Valentine's uh, decorations earlier, the last few things. And there are just a couple of spots that we're just missing a little something, and so that's what we're gonna do. One of these is for the dining room, and one is for the kitchen. So, let me grab my scissors, I didn't do that. Before we started, I'm sure I have forgotten quite a few things, so y'all just bear with me. We're going to hang out and have a little bit of Friday night. <laughs> All right, and just fair warning, after 5 p.m., my brain starts shutting down, so you know what? You're just going to have to love me anyway. <laughs> but we are going to make some cute crafts. So let's get started. This first little piece, I found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's just a cute little... Uh, wood frame sign it's cute enough but you can even see that little the little words are glued down and they're kind of they look like they kind of moved in the packaging so we're going to take this apart this is going to be our first little thing and it's got the hanger you know to use it horizontally but we're going to turn it like this and just stand it that's going to be what we're doing and hold on can't get it Use your scissors, Lois. So, off that plastic. For those of you who are jumping on, going, who's this crazy lady with no makeup and her hair? You can't see, because again, technical difficulties with the equipment, but we're, we're pushing through, because this is real life, but I have my hair all on a bun, no makeup. If you're wondering who this crazy lady is, my name is Lois East. I own a creative online company called LA Grace's Attic, and we take old treasures and give them new life with handcraft and love, primarily through wooden signs, but we love all things crafty. And so, um, I love coming on here and just showing you easy ways to redo things. Okay, this is just a little cardboard cutout thing that's kind of stuck, and I want it off. So what I failed to get, it's not coming off actually very easily, so, well, I'm going <laughs> to just tear the top of it off. It only cost a dollar. This was from the Dollar Tree, so this whole little thing cost me a buck, but I need something that's going to come off in layers. I need something that's going to go over there. Hold on. Um, this guy, this little Cricut tool. It looks like a little metal spatula. This might be able to help me out. Get, yeah, that's gonna get under there really good. You could use a butter knife for this too. We wanna get the majority of that as much as possible off. Of course, because I'm live and I didn't test this ahead of time, it's not coming off very easily, is it? But hey. That's usually how it goes. There it goes. It's, you just gotta have to put a little bit of elbow grease, and it's okay if you kind of scuff up the little bottom because we're about to cover that with some scrapbook paper. I've decided um, when I did um, the little mason, mason jar craft a couple of days ago, and I covered it with scrapbook paper, I found a whole stack of Valentine scrapbook paper and I was like I've got to use this so we're going to be using paper um, 
decoupaging on both of these little things and it's decoupaging is such an easy way an inexpensive way to add a little pop a little jazz to whatever you got going on I'm just got, I got a bunch of loose pieces so I'm gonna dump that in my trash can real quick you see it's coming off pretty nice but we're gonna keep scraping so we get the majority because we want it to be, I might even hit it with the sander here in a second. I say sander, I have a little block. All right. All right, the L is giving me a little bit of trouble. But we're gonna scrape that off too. If y'all are on here with me live, let me know in the comments where you're watching from, what's going on in your neck of the woods tonight. Um, yeah, have y'all created anything Valentine-y lately? That's my word for the day, Valentine. All right, I'm just gonna kind of get off that excess glue and and again, if it's not perfectly off smooth, that's totally okay. We just want to get rid of as much of it as we can so it doesn't have like major bumps in it. It's okay if it has a few because we're going to put some cute stuff on top of it. But for decoupaging, it's best that it's as smooth as possible. come off really easy. That one was in there. Alright, we're going to kind of just shove all this in the trash. But, you'll see, it did come off. Very, you hear Finn, Danielle? So, let me tell y'all a funny story. If you didn't see my live earlier today where I um, redid my uh, rag banner for my mantle, you've got to go back and watch it okay because first of all the banner came out really cute I'll post a picture tomorrow you're gonna be like what I've got to do that because it did it is super cute even if I do say so myself thank you but um, I was posting the video and you know it's playing back and I'm just a talking and it never I guess because I tune it out so probably about a quarter of the way to halfway through my video my sweet puppy I was in the living room he decides he is going to chew on his, his bone he got one of these bones for Christmas it's not a raw hide bone but it's like a, it looks raw hide here he comes he hears me talking about him and it's hard like if you drop it on your toe it will hurt right and the inside of it is filled with like peanut butter flavor stuff. So he decides, hey Finn, he knows I'm <laughs> Say hi to Miss Danielle. Say hi to our friends. He just wants some loving. Anyway, he decides to start chewing on this bone and it's really loud. And he's dropping it and moving it around the floor and chewing on it. And I never noticed while I was shooting the live because <laughs> I just tuned it out, but when I played it back, I'm like, oh my gosh, those people are probably wondering what in the world that noise was. It was my puppy dog enjoying his bone. <laughs> it was so funny. All right, Finn, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to move, dude. Go lay down. Go lay down. I don't know. You want to do some crafting? You want to help? You want to help? <laughs> my partner in crime right here. 
All right, so I have this cute little frame that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I grabbed actually a few of them because I thought I could use those for a dollar. You see, it's a good little thickness. It had a little cardboard word on here that was okay, but you could tell it had kind of shifted, I guess, in transit and shipping, and you could see some of the glue and stuff. So I was like, eh, I'm gonna get it because the little frame is cute. We're gonna use it this way as a stand up, but it does have a hanger and all that. So we're gonna get to work on this. I think I might put some wax on this too. Hold on. I just had an idea. She love it. Okay, I gotta get up. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I think I might put some wax on it while I'm just thinking out loud here. Okay. While we're doing that, we have two crafts to do, so I'm going to try to be quick. All right. I think I'm just going to, I'll have a ruler right here. I don't know why I have to take measure. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's late night live. There's no telling what's going to happen. My brain starts shutting down at five. Okay, the inside of it is about four inches. But, you know, instead of cutting, it's about four by seven. So, I think what I'm going to do is turn this over. I'm gonna go in, let's see. Don't judge me, because I normally don't really. When I do wood, I measure, but when it's paper, I usually don't. I just need a mark, and I need a pen. All right, so again, if y'all are watching live, tell me where you're watching from, what are y'all doing in your neck of the woods tonight, say hi. Let me know, sprinkle the video. All right, I'm just gonna put some marks on here. So I kinda know, oh gosh, I have to go this way. I think I, I forgot I got a little cut out right there. So I kinda have to come this way. I might not make it the other way. Oh, go this way, Lois. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, late night. There's issues. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all don't hate me after this, okay. Y'all probably laughing. I'm glad I can make the uh, comedic tour for Ellie Grace's attic. Okay, I'm just gonna mark that there. And we're gonna come up seven this way, about. Like I said, I just need the marks. I'm not cutting. We're just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm gonna tear it just so it has a rustic, not, well, yeah, I guess rustic is the right word. I don't know. All right, Finn gave up on me because I wasn't beckoning him, so he's leaving. So I made my little mark, so I know where to start. So I'm just gonna use my thumbs and I'm just gonna kinda tear like that. It does not have to be straight. It does not have to be, um, hey, Miss Sharon from Coleman. In my neck of the woods it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't have to be perfect we in fact are kind of going for a rough look because this is white so I'm just gonna tear all the way down this way first kind of use my finger as a guide just so it doesn't get too out of hand he is circling y'all he's like what is my mama doing it's friday night he's thinking we should be cuddled on the couch in front of the fireplace <laughs> oh, i know poor little mistreated puppy what? he's just staring at me okay go lay down all right so you see i just ripped that okay now i'm gonna find my other mark, which is right here. And I'm gonna tear this way. And look, if I tear it and it doesn't fit in there, we're just gonna tear it some more until we get it in there. This is just a easy peasy. Now, I've got the straight edges, so I'm just going to very, I don't wanna tear off much, cause you know, we kinda sorta measure Kind of sort of, it's a loose term. 
You are so mistreated, aren't you? You're going to make all those people think I don't love you. <laughs> Mercy. All right, I'm just going to. It might help if I come this way. Are you saying hi to the friends? <laughs> Y'all, whoever said dogs don't have. <laughs> Miss Danielle said I had to pet you. Dogs have such personality. He's like my third. Well, I have six children, so he's technically my seventh child. They definitely have personality. All right, so I'm just going to kind of just tear in it just to get a different look. Stuff does not always, this gives it kind of a 3D effect, gives it a little bit of dimension to your project. All right. Now, in this bottom last little piece, and I have black with white polka dots. I love black and white. It's classic. It's a great neutral. Every, you could just do black and white. Never goes out of style. And just put a pop of color, which is what we're going to do. All right. So we have this so far. I just tore around it so it kind of has a jagged edge. And we're going to glue it down in here. And so you'll see... This is kind of, I think I'm gonna rip a little bit more, more off of right here because it doesn't have, I wanted the white all around it. So that's what we have. So we're gonna tear a little bit more off of this side. I'm gonna come down here. I'm trying to grab it just right because I don't wanna tear off too much. I just want a little baby a little tiny bit tore off the side. And you know, if you don't want to tear it, this is what I'm doing because I just wanted something a little different, but you don't have to tear it. You could totally have measured it and cut it um, and made it however you fancy it. But, Still am laughing just a little bit. I don't know, it kind of just gives it a little character, in my opinion. All right, I think that's it. We're gonna grab a sponge, because I didn't grab that either earlier, and some wash posh. Yum. <laughs> it's Friday night. All right, we are going to just sprinkle some Mod Podge on there. You really don't need a lot. I'm gonna take my sponge and just spread it out. I do have my hot glue gun fired up, and you're gonna like these little piggy tail things. They're so cute. I got them about 100 years ago when I scrapbook scrapbooked, which I love. That's I love scrapbooking. And now I just collect my pictures and I put them in, I put sticky notes on them of what they are and the dates on the back of them. And I save them in Ziplocs with the hopes that one day, one day I'll scrapbook them. Every now and then I get a hankering and I'll make some cards or I'll scrapbook but I did make a scrapbook not long ago for my daughter. It was a few years late, but I did it. Better late than never, right? All right, so now I've got it in there. I put some Maj Podge down inside the little sign and on the back of my paper. I laid it down, and what we're doing now is just smoothing it out to get the air bubbles out. And it's a little bumpy where we didn't um, get that, um, you know, there still was some residue from where we pulled that word up, but that's okay because we're about to put some pretty over it and nobody's going to be able to see that. 
or they won't notice it. All right, I'm just kind of going over the top with my sponge, trying to push out some more of those air bubbles. And use your finger if necessary. It's okay, that glue is gonna dry. I got a few stubborn air bubbles, but again, that's okay because it's gonna be camouflaged. Oh gosh, I think that's a thin hair. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, dogs. Okay, I got it. It's out. No hair. All right, we're gonna put this. Do I need this again? I need this again. So I'm gonna put that right there. All right, so now we have that cute little frame. We took the word out. We tore our paper. Again, it's not perfect because I wanted kind of a 3D look, I give it a little dimension, so I just tore it around. I kind of put some marks, tick marks, uh, after I measured the inside from the inside of the frame to the other side, about four by seven, and uh, just tore it, that's it, and glued it down with Maj Podge. I got this little sign for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So that's what we're redoing. Now it came like this way. There's the little hook but we're gonna use it this way. So I'm gonna turn it like that so I don't mess it up. Now, remember I showed you the other day, I got this whole little pack of hearts. Um, there's pink, red, and then there's um, neutral, just plain ones in there. There was 24 of them in there for $1 at the Dollar Tree. And they have um, two or three different sizes in there. So it's a good little deal. So now I'm gonna put these little hearts inside here is my goal. We're gonna kind of stagger them. And I wanna use, or my plan is to use these piggy tails. And like I said, these are made by, I guess that's the brand is Piggy, P-I-G-G-Y tails. Trying to see, yeah. Now, I have no idea if this company is still in business because, like I said, I bought these about 100 years ago. So, all they are, if you can see them, they are little springs. Um, I can see them in the light. They're just little springs on card cardboard. That's it. So, what it does, and there's some big ones. They have, um, hold on, let me get one out. They have big ones and they have little ones. We're gonna use the little, three of the little ones. I say that, this one looks like it's from a part. I don't even know if the keys are this still good on these, but we're gonna, we can hot glue them. So what it is, is it's just, look at that, there's a spring in there. So one part, you, or it's got, let's see if I can take it off, sticky. So you peel the whole thing off and it's sticky. So one part sticks to your works, you know, your paper and the other part you put something on top of it. So it's just gonna bring our little hearts off of the sign and kind of give it, again, dimension, some interest. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna kind of just lay my hearts where I want them. And I'm just gonna make a stack of little hearts this part. I'm going to try to get them pretty much in a row. You know what? I wanted to grab some buttons earlier and guess what I didn't do? Too busy looking for these piggy tails. I forgot all about that. Okay. The adhesive is like gone the way of the dodo bird. So <laughs> it's kind of sticky, but I think I'm going to put a drop of hot glue down. So I'm going to kind of just drop that like here. Just a dot. And we're going to put our piggy tail right there. I need this dowel so I don't burn myself because, yeah. Do you know me? I'm just smushing it down. Let me go ahead and Take this piece off. 
Y'all, I might have to do the other craft tomorrow because I don't want to keep y'all on here for two hours. Would it hurt y'all's feelings if I did craft number two tomorrow? Or maybe next week. It's really cute, but it's going to take a bit, and I don't want to keep y'all on here too long because this one seems to be taking more than... All right, I'm just holding it on there for a second. Oh my gosh, <laughs> just, and it's kind of cool because it's not perfectly straight. Um, I'm gonna have to do a Google search to see if I, um, do y'all hear him down there with that phone? He is like, you're not playing with me, what are you doing? Okay, so this is cute. And because the frame is raised, it's really cool. out right now can I tell you why are you acting out you know our friends can see you and I mean hear you down there acting a crazy person all right is anybody else on here talk to their dog all right I'm just popping the glue down Mama's hot going. I can't right now. You're going to have to wait. Just a little bit of hot glue. So cute. I just want to play with this spring. So fun. All right. And then the last one. Of off. I'm just trying to eyeball. Okay, that goes. So that needs to be about right there. Nothing like eyeballing it. All I'm doing is taking the little filmy part off to expose the adhesive under there. And it's just, it's still sticky. But it's not like super sticky like it was when I bought it years ago. So I'm just adding a little hot glue to help it. Nothing major. So I hot glued it down onto the paper or the surface. And then I'm adding hot glue on the top. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing ever. I was thinking I might add some little buttons on the heart um, or maybe a rhinestone. I don't know. Look how cute this is. Now, can you see that it kind of has a shadow effect behind the hearts? I don't know, but you can see they move. They kind of, they, they're springy. They're so fun. But anyway, it's super cute. Super cute. Um, I know, Danielle, I'm thinking rhinestones too. I might add them after the fact because they're up in a jar. Um, but the, um, I might put like a rhinestone in the little, what do you call that? The little side, top side, the little hump of the heart. So anyway, here's our first one. I'll, if I add any rhinestones or whatever, I'll take a picture. I'll post the finished product tomorrow in its place where it's going to live for the season. So this is the first one. Boom. That was super easy. Super easy. So we're going to put that. We'll put it up here. Oh my gosh. I love it. So simple. So cute. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't do. I don't think it needs the wax. I was going to try to darken the frame with the wax a little bit, but honestly, now that I'm looking at it with finished, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to leave it. All right, so we're going to try to finish the other one. I'll at least tell you the principles of it, and then uh, we'll see how far we get on it. So I don't want to go. I think I'm at 30 minutes or so. I don't want to go over it. 
And let's show our good. If y'all are good, we keep going. All right, we're going to move the wax since we didn't use it. And we are going to need this. It's just a frame. It's, uh, well, it's a, actually a busted piece of wood out of my garage, but I'm going to make it work for what we need. It's going to be the stand. Let me put these pigtails up in okay, case so I need them again. And I will try to find a link to these online and um, put this in the comments or somewhere for you to see these piggy tails if you want to get those. Um, or if somebody wants to try to look them up and post, stick the com stick the link in the comments for me. Let me see, Miss Sharon. Cute, cute. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Started to get those frames, but didn't know. Y'all, pardon my bifocals. I gotta look like this. <laughs> I gotta look like this to see the comments. I started to get those frames, but didn't know what to do with them. Yes, yes. Um, it's hard sometimes to think outside of the box when you're in the store, but stuff like that that has a good, um, what's the word? Foundation, maybe? You know, a frame. If you think, I can redo a frame anytime, like lots of different ways. You may not be able to picture it there, but for a dollar, you really can't go wrong. So I just always, when I see stuff like that, that I can tell that I can deconstruct, deconstruct and then upcycle, then I'll just scoop them up, um, even without knowing. <laughs> even without knowing. So this is a, um, I use this wood in my framing, and this was a piece that got broken, but like I said, we're gonna use it for this project, because what we're gonna do, I bought this today at Hobby Lobby. It was um, $5, it was 50% off, so I got it for $2.50. This is a chipboard, um, it's not wood, it's cardboard, and you see it's layered together, it's like three pieces, so that's what we're working with. It They put three pieces together to make it super thick. And I'm gonna hot glue it on this and make it a stand sign. So I think it's gonna be okay that my thing is broken down here. But what I wanna do first is I'm gonna put some red paint on, um, I think I'll put red paint on. Do I want red paint on this too? decisions. Like I said, I just kind of put all this together on the fly. I'm telling y'all. I think I'm going to leave this like it is. I'm not going to paint that. I'm going to paint the sides of this. Like, because we're going to put paper on this. Actually, I'm going to paint the back and the sides. Um, so you don't see the cardboard. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just lightly, it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm just gonna cover this. Probably gonna get paint everywhere and that's okay. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> Y'all are my guinea pigs tonight. Sometimes the stuff in my head works really great and other times, not so much. It sounded a whole lot better in my head. <laughs> I don't know if that ever happens to anybody or if that's just me. Y'all don't leave me hanging. All right, so we're just lightly covering this in paint. I'm gonna try to get some on the inside. I'm not worried too much about the insides. I mainly just want to do the back because where it's going to be sitting, you'll be able to um, walk in front of it and behind it. So the back, you know, if it was going like on a shelf or um, something like that where the counter, um, where the back of it was to a wall, then I wouldn't be worried about the back at all. But this is going to be, the back will be exposed to view. So I'm just slapping some red 
and this is a dark, a pretty dark red. Um, I'm more partial to the darker reds than the bright reds. So we're just, and you can see the chipboard is kind of soaking that in. And this is acrylic paint, so it's not going to take long to dry, especially since we're putting um, a light, lighter coat. We get this little tail down here. That covered. Alrighty. I love paint. Love it, love it. All right, so now. I don't know what that, I hope I'm still, it says I'm still live. I probably took a break there. Um, I had my do not disturb on, so I apologize, but I just got a phone call. So hang tight, we're gonna finish this up. We are just brushing this red paint on the sides. Because again, I just, it's gonna be uh, covered with paper on the front. And I got a longer handled brush. And it's okay, I'm kind of going over onto the, I might have to do the insides of the letters. I'm not worried about major coverage. I'm just trying to cover up the brown. It doesn't have to be super thick. down in there. This little, um, I told you where I got it. I got this at Hobby Lobby over in right next to the section that has the wood cutouts. There's this section that is chipboard. And it's similar. You can do most of the same things. It's really good for decoupaging. I mean, you can decoupage anything, but you can paint chipboard just like wood. It's actually in dough. A little less expensive than wood. They have letters, um, shapes, all kinds of things in the little chipboard section. So make sure you're passing your eye in there as well. All right, I am gonna have to kind of brush some of the inside only because it's gonna bug me if I don't. We'll just, we'll just kind of do what we can. If we get it, if we get it. I'm not too worried. All right, I need a little bit more of this red paint. Okay. It's soaked up quite a bit. be perfect and just give them the illusion that it's painted in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a lot of words too in the chipboard section. A lot more words than they did in the wood section. But like I said, it's 50% off today. They usually do the 50% sales like every other week something like that. All right. All right, I'm brushing fast. It's not taking super long time. Mm -hmm. Just a nice, good one layer coat. Some of these little Cracks and crevices are a little tighter than my brush <laughs> wants to go in. We're making it work. It's totally okay. You see, I'm getting that all over the front. That's okay. Good. We're almost.
close to the end. You probably have red paint all over me, but again, totally okay. All right. Whoop, whoop. All right. Now I think we're probably mostly evenly covered. If I've got like paint um, ridges, I'm just gonna, you gotta be really careful when you try to, um, you don't wanna sand anything past the edge because this stuff, it is cardboard, so it will start to um, come apart on you if you're too hard on it. I'm just kind of coming back over again. All right, I mostly have everything covered with paint that I want covered. We're gonna move this off to the side. So all I did was put red paint on the back and got the sides and everything good and covered. So move that out of the way. I don't know, oh, here's a napkin. I was like, I don't have a napkin. All right, are y'all still with me or did y'all get kicked off when I got that phone call? All right, so now I have you guessed it, more polka dots. This is black with white again, but it's a smaller print. So now what we're gonna do is I am going to use my single sponge. Actually, I need this back. And we are going to cover the front of this with glue. Really good, generous amount of glue. I probably could have got away with just painting this, but I don't know, like I said, I found all that scrap of paper and I was like, Feel like I am, I'm getting some paint mixed in with my glue. Totally okay. Totally okay. Don't freak out. It's probably best to let it dry, but again, eh, it's Friday night. We can do what we want. So there's that. All right, I pretty much got a good, generous amount of glue all over the front of my little word cut out my little love. I'm going to turn, because this is so long, I can't go this way because it overlaps, so I'm going to turn it catty corner. And we're going to flip it over. And I, well, now I need the mat. So I'm just going to stick it. Boom. Okay, I just had a panic attack. Because I thought, did I do the wrong side? <laughs> Y'all, the struggle is real. Okay. All right, so it's pretty much glued. Okay. So let me put my spongy in the water so it doesn't become a hot mess. And now that I got it painted like I want it, I've got it pretty much glued to the paper. It'll take a minute to dry. We're going to go ahead and cut it out and that's going to take um, the longest amount of time. So we're going to see if I can do it in just a few minutes. Alright, I have a handy dandy razor blade and that's what I'm going to be using. I have this plastic cutting mat down. Um, you could do this if you have cardboard or some type of rubber mat. You don't want to cut onto your table service surface. So I'm going to cut around my letters. That might take us a hot minute, but we're going to make it work. And then I have some small scissors if I need to trim any after that. It's okay if you... Um, tear it a little bit because again we are going to kind of touch up the edges 
of the paper with um, a sandy block at the end. We just have to do it gently. So you'll see my paper is starting to cut We should let this dry, but it's going to work. And then what we'll do, once we've got it cut out, is we will um, not only sand the edges, but we can come back over it with extra glue. And... Um, Kind of seal it. There we go. All right, now we. All right, friends. try to get at least part of this cut out for you. And it's okay, don't worry about the scrapbook paper. This is a little intricate, so the way that I had to do it, normally if it's a smaller piece, I would have gone to the corner, but because it was such a larger um, piece, I really just had to go for it and put it in the middle. So now it's not gonna be, the edges might be a little, it's gonna be like some of these corners I'm having to kind of dig out. So if your paper is not, it's okay if it tears a little bit, because like I said, we're gonna kind of hit it with the sander. And, um, gonna be okay. Don't panic. It will be cute in the end, or at least that's the plan. That's always the plan though, right? If y'all, if I am still live, it's showing I'm live. Can y'all say hi? If y'all are still on here, I'm showing I have people, but I'm not seeing any comments. I'm not sure why the call came through because I had I do not disturb on anyway. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Miss Sharon is here. Okay, so I know I'm not talking to myself. Well, Ben is still right there, so he is listening. So, okay. Let me just tear this part right here. So this is coming up. This is a little labor of love. This doesn't look pretty while it's happening, so again, don't panic. Um, and if this was a different piece, you could probably get away with doing this with some really fine scissors, but you really need one of these guys. Um, I got this. This is one of those other things I got years ago, but you could get it in any craft section. It's just a little handheld razor. It's perfect for this kind of stuff. In hindsight, I'm thinking, I should have just painted this. <laughs> Again, things work so much better in my head. But it is going to be cute. This little 
This cutting mat too is probably something if you think you're gonna do stuff like this, this cutting mat was a great investment years ago. right here is being stubborn. There it goes. Get out of there. Finn, seriously, dude. He's licking his butt. Oh, why did I say I was going to do a late night live? Okay, so that part came off. I'm going to trim all this off and save the corner because y'all know we don't throw nothing away. Um, Okay, it came that much. Thank you, Miss Sharon, for clarifying that because you just never know. All right, so this is what we have so far. You see my letters are starting to come out. So we're going to do the top half now, and we'll see where we are on time. And I might just um, finish it off camera and show you a picture tomorrow because, again, I don't want this live to be too long. I think I was a little overzealous when I said, oh, I'm gonna do two crafts. Finn, you gotta quit licking your feet, dude. Seriously, people can hear you. Essentially, all I'm doing is using my little blade to trace the outline of the letters. That's it. Just be careful because the blade is sharp. Again, you probably could do this um, with some good scissors, but scissors, you have a chance of if it acts, they accidentally close. That's a accident waiting to happen. I may or may not have done that before. That's why I can tell you about it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you the stories I can tell. All right, this part is a little tricky, tricky. But where there's a will, there's a way. So keep at it. not to do that but we still have some good pieces we can reuse All right. I sure am excited y'all are hanging out with me on Friday night can I tell you because I'm just saying I thought nobody's gonna watch it's Friday night people are doing stuff but I will tell you this where I'm at it is cold. Miss Sharon can vouch for me. It is cold. Miss Sharon is my fellow Louisianan. And we could tell you there's a reason we live in the South. <laughs> We're not used to the cold. Uh-uh. No way. I've been cold all day. there friends thank you for hanging this long I'll walk you through what I'm going to do Let me get the outline cut out and then I'll walk you through the rest and then I'll show you final product tomorrow I'll post pictures
takes a little extra patience, but we're almost there. Boom. All right. So this is what we have, okay? It's a little rough. See the edges are a little rough. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna come back with my razor because we've been on about an hour. I wanna keep you any longer. I gotta cut out these little inserts, okay? I'm gonna hit it with a little sander just gently. Remember when we sand, we're gonna go, let me find a spot. When we sand, we're going to go take our little sanding block or a piece of sandpaper and you're going to go down and away, down and away, away from the whatever you're sanding. So down and away, down and away. And it's going to take off any excess paper that's hanging over the edge and it will distress it. And uh, I don't know if you can see what it's doing. It's just taking off that excess paper. And so I'm gonna cut out the insides of the letters. I'm gonna hit it with the sanding block. I don't wanna be too rough though, because this is cardboard. And then I'm gonna come back over it with some more Mosh Posh on my sponge to just kind of seal it all down. And uh, so see, isn't that cute? It's got the red with the black and white polka dots. And then, so I'm gonna, uh, again, cut out the insides of the letters, gently sand the edges to get the extra excess paper off, come over it with the Mod Podge to seal it, and then I'm gonna hot glue it to this little piece of wood. This is just some um, molding, framing. I got it at Lowe's, but you could use any scrap board that you have. And it's gonna sit just like this and it's going to go on my kitchen counter so i promise to finish it and show you the end result tomorrow okay but like i said i don't want to keep you on here for two hours <laughs> but this was fun if you liked the late night live let me know in the comments if you uh you know Sometimes you can catch them live, sometimes you watch it on the replay, but if you enjoyed it, let me know, and maybe I'll do more of these. Oh, I do want to give a heads up to my diehards that are still hanging out with me on here. Um, I picked up today uh, extra, extra leftover, I guess, like inventory from Christmas and from fall from my little local consignment shop. So... How many of you would be interested in a flash sale, like a holiday flash sale uh, here coming up soon? If you're interested in that, everything would probably be 50% off. I don't know. I have to look through everything, but I'll let you know more details. But if you think you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments. Um, thank you, Miss Sharon. Yes, fun times indeed. Danielle, I love you. <laughs> I know, I don't get to do very many late nights, but I will try to get a couple more in. So this is what we have so far. We're gonna finish this one shortly. And then we did this little guy, which I love with the little piggy tails. So this is what we got going on. If you haven't noticed, all of my decorations have black and white mixed in just because to me it's classic. So this is the stuff. I had fun hanging out with you and crafting. Um, yeah, I hope this inspires you to do something crafty. You can tell my words are getting hard this past my bedtime. <laughs> but what a fun way to spend a Friday night. But anyway, I love you girls. Happy crafting, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.